Hello, my name is Paulette Kidder. I'm the Interim Dean of the College of Education at Seattle University. It's my pleasure to welcome you to our celebration of the graduating class of 2020. Welcome to you graduating students, family members, friends, faculty, and staff. I'd like to say a special word of thanks to our Dean's Advisory Council. We are grateful to you for your support, your leadership, your networking and ambassadorship on our behalf and your philanthropic contributions to the college. I'd like to say a special word of thanks to our chair of the Dean's Advisory Council, Marlene Fusen, who is retiring from the council this year after six years of distinguished service. Thank you, Marlene, for your leadership and support. To our students, we can't wait to see what you will do with your careers and the next stages of your lives. Your compassion, your resilience, your commitment to social justice, these are gifts that the world needs now more than ever before. We know that you will make an outstanding contribution as teachers, mentors, and leaders. It's my pleasure now to introduce to you Father Stephen Sundborg, President of Seattle University. As President of Seattle University, let me add a word to the celebration of you, the graduates of the College of Education. My congratulations to you and to your families and friends and to all of those who have walked with you and supported you in these years of your education and your professional development as educators, counselors, and leaders. I believe education is a vocation rather than merely a job or a career. We have seen the value and esteem and appreciation of teachers and educators grow more in these last few months than in any other period. People now know what an art it is, what a skill it is, how hard it is, how much goes into to doing it well, and how you have to give your whole self to it. It is truly a vocation. It calls on the whole person. It evokes the deepest values of the educator. It calls forth one's creativity and care and competence and compassion. Perhaps you are graduating today into this vocation because you saw in some teacher, maybe when you were young, some educator, some advisor, perhaps some principal, what you wanted to be and you said, that's what I want to do. Others will see that in you. The calling will be passed on. The chain will not be broken. Jesuit education, as you know and as you have experienced it, is always the education of the whole person. And it requires that you bring your whole person to it day after day. Your whole person is not, you know, your best self. Rather, it's your real self, your true self, your only self. Be that in your vocation. Give that in your calling and experience the rich satisfaction of doing so. So again, as president of Seattle University, I thank you for being our students and I celebrate you and I congratulate you with confidence that you will be valued educators for others. Thank you very much and have a great day. Hi TESOL graduates, this is Vong Ratz, Interim Associate Dean in the College of Education, as well as Chair of the Department of Leadership and Professional Studies. I just wanted to take a quick moment to congratulate each and every one of you for graduating this term um, and achieving an important milestone in your lives. Unfortunately, we're not able to connect and meet in person, but my hope is that you'll take this day to celebrate and really reflect on your experience and journey in the program. Hopefully you'll walk away with meaningful experiences and be able to use your degrees to impact your communities, impact those that you will be serving in the future uh, and now. So again, just wanna send a quick congratulations. Be safe, be well, and don't forget to wash your hands. Hi, I'm Stacy Robbins. I'm program director and assistant professor of adult education and training in the College of Education at Seattle University.
In our master's degree and certificate programs, we develop professional educators who effectively serve adult populations in both workforce development and workplace learning. Our graduates serve adult learners in multiple organizational contexts, including nonprofit organizations, higher education, and business. We support adult learners as they seek to improve their knowledge and skills and to take on new challenges. Please join me in congratulating the graduates of the master's program in adult education and training and those who have completed the post-master's certificate in community college teaching. It's been my pleasure to be a part of your learning journey. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Jackie Leipson, and I'm the director of the counseling programs at Seattle U. And I want to welcome uh, the family members and friends and support people of this amazing graduation group that we have here from the counseling programs. I know this was not what you expected graduation to look like or the celebrations, but I hope you are finding your own very special way to celebrate this amazing accomplishment and I look forward to all the wonderful things I get to hear about what you are all doing in the community, and congratulations. Hi, I'm Ted Kelmus. I direct the Educational and Administration programs in the College of Education. I'm here to recognize the students who are completing their principal certifications, their program administrator certification programs, and their master's in educational administration this year. Uh, Bell Hooks said that education, she recognized education as the practice of freedom that enables us to confront feelings of loss and restore our sense of connection. It teaches us how to create community, she said. And this cohort, your cohort, has from the moment it started embraced the idea of educational leadership as an act of justice, of connection, and of community. You've brought rigor to your study of policy, of data, but most importantly, you've brought compassion and a desire to make real change. And it's no surprise to me that many of you have already stepped into new leadership roles, and I'm so excited for the work you are about to do. Thank you, and the world needs you right now. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Dr. Colette Taylor, Program Director of the Educational Leadership Doctoral Program in the College of Education. I offer Congratulations to all graduating students of Seattle University. To graduating educational leadership doctoral students, I want to let you know it's been my honor and privilege to teach you over the last few years. The doctoral journey is arduous and stressful, even in the best of times. You have successfully graduated in times of unprecedented challenges. Your leadership, your scholarship, and commitment to service will contribute to a global world you will transform that world to be inspired by the work that we have done in the doctoral program. You and your loved ones should be proud, proud of your perseverance, proud of your grit, and proud of your triumph. I know that we, the educational doctoral faculty, are. Good luck. My name is Dr. Carrie Sivan Ash, and I am director and faculty for the Masters in Education in Educating Non-Native English Speakers um, program and I would just like to congratulate all of the graduates of this program. Um, our graduates are K-12 to teachers and you have faced extraordinary challenges during this pandemic um, not only in continuing your graduate education but completing um, a major capstone project in the midst of um, switching to online teaching um, taking care of your students and their families, um, and also taking care of yourselves and your own families and your own lives. Um, your dedication to your students, um, particularly our culturally and linguistically diverse students, is amazing. And you always find ways to center their student, to center your students and their needs. I hope that you find creative ways to celebrate this tremendous achievement, um, even though we can't be together in person. And I look forward to seeing um, how education changes as a result of your dedication and advocacy. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations to the graduating Master in Teaching students. You did it. We are so proud of the incredibly hard work you have put into this past year. You began what will be a lifelong journey to become critically reflective educators for social justice. 
There is no more important time than to embark upon the work of educating youth. Students need teachers who will believe in them, value their humanity, and help them build a better future. And we are thrilled to welcome you to the ranks of MIT alumni. Our alumni collectively have a tremendous impact on our community, and we send you off charged to uphold the values and missions of Seattle University. As Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. Congratulations. Congratulations, SDA graduates. On behalf of the program faculty and staff, um, we are so proud of you, of everything that you've accomplished, and know that you are going to do amazing things. Please know that no matter where you are, we are here for you as you make waves in your career and in life. Take care. On behalf of the School Psychology Program, I would like to congratulate our graduating School Psychology Educational Specialist students. Graduates, it has been our honor to work with you over these past three years, and we are so very proud of your accomplishments. This moment of celebration is a bright shining light in an otherwise dark year, where we have witnessed social injustices that we already knew existed come to a tipping point through a global pandemic, economic upheaval, and racial injustice. As we transition into the summer months, I invite you to engage in deep reflection on conflicting emotions, anxiety and accomplishment, sadness and pride, anger and hope. Most importantly, let these emotions drive us to action. For as school psychologists, you have the power to lead for change in the schools you serve, and you are prepared for this challenge. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm Cindy Johnson, the program director in special ed and the department chair at the College of Education, and you are the most awesome awesome graduates ever. You are leaving at a time that you will not soon forget. Particularly congratulations to the students in the special education program. You're going to make changes in this world, both big and small, and some that you won't even know about. So celebrate. We wish you were all with us in person. And again, I'm so, so proud of all the work you've done and everything you've gone through. Yay, class of 2020. Congratulations to our EDLS graduates. We wish you the best moving forward in your next adventures. On behalf of the MIT faculty, it is with great pleasure that I announce Han B. Kim as the MIT Spring Cohort 2019 recipient of the St. Ignatius Award. This award is presented to students based on academic achievement, excellence in student teaching, evidence of commitment to teaching as a profession, and evidence of leadership. Han B exemplifies all of these strengths. Her integrity, thoughtfulness, and gentle leadership has shown through in her time on campus and out in the schools. Han B, Han B brings tremendous compassion to her work and represents what it means to be a teacher for social justice. Congratulations, Han B. On behalf of the MIT faculty, it is with great pleasure that I announce Naomi True as the Fall Cohort 2019 recipient of the St. Ignatius Award. This award is presented to students based on academic achievement, excellence in student teaching, evidence of commitment to teaching as a profession, and evidence of leadership. From the moment she began the MIT program, Naomi committed herself fully to becoming a leader for social justice and racial equity. Whether she was engaging with peers or instructors in a course, or working with her mentor teacher to design a history lesson for her high school students, Naomi approached her work with reflectiveness, critical wondering, and a relentless drive to learn and grow. In this uncertain time, Naomi will do what is needed most. She will humanize all of her students, and she will engage them in grappling with the critical issues in our society today. Naomi, go forth and set the world on fire. Congratulations. On behalf of the School Psychology Program at Seattle University, I am very pleased to congratulate Elizabeth King on receiving the Spirit of the College Award. 
Bet is a Latino female with a strong commitment to working for justice for Latinx youth in schools. She completed an undergraduate degree with honors in teaching English as a second language. After she completed her teacher certification, she joined the Peace Corps as a volunteer English teacher in Colombia. And she returned from Colombia to join our EDS program. Um, and we were delighted to admit her. She's been an outstanding graduate student, graduating with a 4.0 GPA, but has very clear goals for her future in the field of school psychology, specifically related to upholding a standard of excellence for all students, developing very strong partnerships with families, and working to call out un unintended discriminatory biases in schools. So congratulations, Bet. Thank you. Before I begin, I would like to take a moment of silence for George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, and countless other Black people whose lives have been taken away by racial violence and police brutality. Please take a moment of silence with me. Thank you. My name is Elizabeth King, or better known as BET in the School Psychology Program. I'm honored to be the recipient of the College of Education Spirit Award. Being part of the school psychology program, my classmates and I have learned how to conduct comprehensive evaluations, how to choose and pick appropriate assessment tools to honor cultural and linguistic diversity, and also built expertise in learning, mental health, and behavior. However, the most profound moments in the program have been our discussions centered around social justice and best practices. We've been challenged how to become aware of our own implicit biases and how to learn and grow from those. We've also learned about systems and structures that oppress students of color and learned that it is our moral and ethical obligation to become social justice change agents. As educators, we have the immense responsibility of teaching and supporting children and youth. Our actions and words have impact. How we nourish their soil is how they may become adults and leaders. We enter the program as learners and we will exit as reflective leaders who uphold social justice and ethical practice to guide decision making. I'd like to say a special thanks to my classmates. Your love and support mean everything. And also a special thanks to my instructors, Dr. Tyree, Dr. Moy, Dr. Parkin, Joe Callahan, and Dr. Mary Graham. Thank you so much. I'd like to finish off with a quote from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Each year, Seattle University chooses one undergraduate and one graduate student as the recipients of the Archbishop Raymond G. Hunthausen Award. The Hunthausen Award is the university's most prestigious honor, given to a student who embodies integrity, faith, leadership, and passion for learning. I am proud to let you know that Kazer Guaduri graduating student in the Student Development Administration Program in the College of Education is this year's Hunthausen Award recipient. Causer, we are proud of your accomplishments and very pleased that you are receiving this recognition from Seattle University. I now welcome Causer to say a few words to the graduating students and the friends of the college. Hello, my name is Causer Guadri and I use her pronouns. I'll be graduating from the Student Development Administration Program, and I am honored to have received the Hunthausen Award this year. To my fellow Seattle University College of Education graduates of 2020, congratulations, we did it. There have been a lot of ups and downs, a lot. And at the same time, I reach out my hands to you and I tell you, you deserve to celebrate this achievement too. Educators know that the job is almost never done. There's always something else to work on or to think about that's all necessary. 
and we will. We do. We're educators. If we're going to be educating other people, we need to be constantly learning ourselves. Right now, you learned enough to get this degree. <laughs> so scream, jump, eat a good donut, whatever it is, celebrate yourself because every life success is worth celebrating. Thank you, Seattle University, from the bottom of my heart for all the conversations with my peers, faculty, staff, and my own self. I'm a new person walking out with more pride. Best wishes, much love. Congratulations. Bye. Hi, everybody. My name is Money Vong Ratz. I am Interim Associate Dean in the College of Education at Seattle University and Chair of the Department of Leadership and Professional Studies. I want to take this moment to congratulate each and every one of you on achieving this important professional milestone in your lives. To be a graduate of Seattle University means something. For me, it means being willing to be a change agent, being willing to buck up against the status quo, being willing to use your power, your voice, your influence to provide equity and access for those who are marginalized in our communities. That's what it means to hold a graduate degree from Seattle University. And so there's a great deal of responsibility that comes with being a graduate that I hope you'll carry proudly as you embark on this next professional chapter of your lives. Being a change agent is more important than ever before, especially when you think of the context in which we're living right now. As the nation tries to figure out how to come together, tries to figure out how, we'll deal, how we deal with race, issues of race and racism in our country, my hope is that you'll be a leader in those discussions in your organizations, in your districts, in your agencies that you'll be working in. Regardless of the format, my hope is that you'll carry that mantle of being a change agent proudly. Again, congratulations, graduates. I'm very proud of you for achieving this particular milestone. 2020 graduates of the College of Education, congratulations on your incredible achievement um, in reaching the end of your degrees and programs. It's an incredible accomplishment, especially given these unprecedented times. Um, I wanna say hello, my name is Jonathan Brown. I serve as your Assistant Vice President for Alumni Engagement. I am excited about this event. I feel like I've never missed one for as long as I've held this role, and partly because I have a deep love and connection for uh, the College of Education. Not only am I blessed to have the opportunity every once in a while to teach a class here and there as an adjunct professor, I am a proud Seattle University College of Education graduate from 1994 in the Student Development Administration program. I will also do a shout out. Um, my twin brother is also a 1994 graduate from the Masters in Teaching program. So I do have some experience over a long period of time of seeing what do Seattle University College of Education graduates do out in their communities. And my feeling is whether they have become teachers or counselors, administrators, educational leaders, all of them um, take the role of being a change agent in their community, providing the very best of the values, reflection, Jesuit pedagogy that we've been learning in our program and our care of persons. Um, that's really what I see being the common connection between our graduates out in the field. Um, so know that although these times are uncertain, um, there is certainty in the community that you're joining in the Seattle University Alumni Association, 83,000 people strong, um, international, global community, and we are delighted to have you a part of it. So congratulations. Um, hope that now and forever you'll remain a Red Hawk. Take care. Thanks to everyone for joining us for this celebration. Thanks to everyone who has contributed to the program today. My special thanks go to Megan McNeil, for editing this video, and to Megan, Eunice McGill, and Beverly Silver for planning our program. Our concluding montage is composed of photos submitted by our students to celebrate completing their programs and receiving their degrees. Congratulations to all of you.